Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to Disney Mirrorverse. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest update. We're going to go through all the notes and show you what you can expect with all the cool stuff coming. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So so this is kind of odd, okay? Kind of different what we're doing. So we're going to go through the patch notes for this newest update. The newest update is live in the game. Unfortunately, I can't show you. My phone was stolen, and um, I do have a replacement for it, but I'm going back and forth on getting my Apple ID and everything um, updated or moved over to this phone. It's just... It's a back and forth thing right now. So unfortunately, I don't have access to my phone. I don't have access to the game. But what we can do at least is take a look at the newest update, for, especially for those of you who do not have access to this game right now. Let me show you what we have going on in game. And there's some pretty cool stuff going on right now. So just first, beta update. Again, remember this game is in soft launch in some countries. It is not globally launched yet. We don't know when the global launch is. I'm guessing later this year. I mean, there's a the game, the game is coming along quite well and I'm curious with everything that's been launched and everything that we're able to do in the game right now, if this is all going to be available on global launch or if some of these like maybe is Dangerous Dungeons going to be uh, something that is added a, you know a few months after global launch or whatever or is it or is everything we're doing now going to be available day one don't know that yet but um so right now we have chapter six now we have chapter six, chapter six calm before the storm so travel back to fortress's edge and discover a new type of enemy don't know who that is yet which threatens the balance of power in the mirror verse and uh, chapter six story quests available in both normal and hard difficulties. Very nice there. Um, now, chapter five hard did take a little bit of work to get through that. So chapter six, I'm, I'm expecting chapter six normal. We should be able to flow through that pretty easy. But chapter six hard, um, I'm expecting a little bit of a challenge there. So we'll see. Again, I haven't been able to get into the game and check that out. I know others have. Dangerous dungeons. So if you've not seen... Um, my update on that, there was a video specifically about, actually, the, just the last video I did on this game was about Dangerous Dungeons. I'll go ahead and put a link up right over there. Essentially, what it is, is it's a new game mode. It says a new game mode here to challenge your skill and stamina for epic rewards, Dangerous Dungeons, a time-limited rotating event. So basically what it is, is you're going into this dungeon, you have, you have floors to clear, and you can move around the dungeon, you can go forward, backward, you can do whatever you want, you can clear the whole floor, you can go straight to the end as soon as you find the door and work your way up um, through these dungeons. Now, the rewards are going to be based on points and how much you collect the artifacts that you get, and it is also going to be the only place where you can get uh, resources to take your guardians up to level 50. So um, it's going to be something that's very critical, especially for the later game, at least. Now, early on, um, I don't know how integral that's going to be for early progression. But uh, again, you do have different floors. You have different difficulty levels. It's on a rotating schedule. Don't know what that schedule look like looks like yet. But it looks very, very cool. I saw... Um, I saw someone in beta posted a video on it, and it looks pretty pretty interesting. It is nice to just kind of have a different kind of game mode. Now, the gameplay itself is the same, so nothing different there. It's really just kind of how you're navigating through this different uh, through these different dungeons. So right here, a nice write-up about Dangerous Dungeons. Um, it, another nice thing about it is it does have its separate energy. So climb to the highest floors of the Dangerous Dungeon the top and top the individual dungeon leaderboards by earning the most points for each event. Um, all right, so that is very cool. Looking forward to that. We knew that was coming. Signature abilities I knew nothing about. Check this out. Increase your guardian's power through new signature abilities. These new abilities are unlocked when a guardian reaches four stars. Each ability has 100 levels of power that level up by using signets. Earn each Earned each time a four-star or five-star guardian is earned. Higher star rating guardians provide more signets, which, at, which can be used to add levels to the signature ability. Now, I haven't asked a whole lot of questions on this, but every time you pull a four-star and a five-star, you get signets, I'm assuming, 
um, when you when you level up to a four star. Look at their blue stars now. I I uh, I didn't notice that earlier. But um, so something pretty interesting there. Signets can be used to level up Guardian Signature ability. Don't know what the cost of those are just yet. Claiming a four star Guardian pr uh, provides one signet and a five star Guardian gives you five signets. I don't know why such a huge difference here. If a five star Guardian gives you five signets, why not four for a four star? I understand you don't want to overload with signets and max out the signature abilities. Um, that's probably the reason, but... Anyway, so signature abilities will be automatically unlocked for players who already own their four or five star guardians after updating to the new version of the game. So pretty cool there. Looking forward to that. I don't know what these what these signature abilities can do yet because I can't get in the game, but I am looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We will do an update video with in-game stuff. We'll take a look at everything in-game as soon as we can. All right, next, Guardian update. So they made some changes here. Always balance changes and things like that. So Buzz Lightyear, Lear, I can't talk straight, but Buzz Lightyear, I'm not drinking, I swear. Um, <laughs> they fixed an issue where Buzz's core ability was reducing minus 10% of current armor instead of minus 10% of max armor value. Genie, they fixed an issue there um, where it could be damaged if he was healed while he was indestructible. I remember that. Goofy, they fixed his text. It's not a 50% focus buff. It's a 50% critical chance um, the uh, the entire time. That's, that's what it has been. It's just the text was wrong. So that's been changed. Solely fixed an issue where elite talent enhanced armor core wasn't granting the correct amount of armor. Uh, we got Scar here. His ability now has, his special ability now has knockback. So you can knock people back. Nice, cool, fun. Uh, Merida, uh, Merida. So, wound from a Merida special was dealing 50% da damage instead of 30. We're just getting more. She's getting weaker. 33.3% um, damage per second. We've kept the wound at 50% damage and have updated her special description to reflect this change. Nice, nice, very cool. Maybe I should have saved my commentary until after i read that wound duration from special ability reduced oh there we go <laughs> from eight seconds down to six lose two seconds which a few seconds in this game is pretty significant in my opinion fixed an issue where elite talent wounding wisps wo wo wounding 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 wisps <laughs> was dealing 3.75 percent to 18.75 percent instead of the normal 5 to 20 so um it looks like that uh, gave us a little more of a damage boost which is nice and the icon for the Wisp Focus buff has been changed. And Ursula, reduced potency of attack debuffs for core ability from not minus 5%. They, so they, they reduced it by 50% down to 2.5% to prevent situations where negative 100% attack was possible. And then we got some attack debuffs are now removed when Ursula is defeated. And Binding Contract is now removed. Those were staying up even though Ursula was being taken out. So... Nice to see those changes there. Some de I think those are some decent balance changes. And then we have some updates and improvements here. I won't read through all of this. I will put a link to this in the description below. So you can go ahead, jump in here, and read everything. Because I'm not going to read everything. But um, one thing, a couple of things I wanted to point out. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and Topaz Gem dailies of all difficulties now have restrictions which require a team of the same role of Guardians. Oh, man. So if, if it's Ruby, you're going to need all attackers. If it's Sapphire, you're going to need all tanks. That's uh, assuming. Uh, that's, again, me assuming. I haven't asked these questions yet. It's been busy. But that's what I'm assuming. One or fewer downed Guardians and no Guardians. They fixed some text there. Um, and then a, a list of some known issues down here with Android. Um, known issue where milestone claim overlay background may not appear. So some minor stuff. Um, aesthetics and everything like that. So a lot of cool stuff, I think. It's a great update. Also, one thing they don't mention here that I did find out, there are four new Guardians that were added to the game. I, I don't believe we have access to them just yet, but they are in the roster. They are very cool. The artwork looks great. If I can find some stuff and add it to the end of this video, I will. Otherwise, you will see it once I gain access back into the game. But check this out. We have Baloo from Tailspin. That is amazing. I love that cartoon. That was something I watched with my kids. Um, and yeah, it's just fun. We have Elsa, which is fantastic as well. We have Donald Duck in there. And then we have one more. I can't remember who that fourth is right now. 
Yes, I do. It's Hercules. <laughs> Hercules, and he's got wings. So very cool stuff. So really excited. To get, I, I, I don't know. Can you tell? I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyping it up. And I think it deserves to be hyped up, in my opinion, because there's a lot of cool stuff that's been going on in the game. Really excited. Again, for those of you who can't play this, excited for you guys to get your hands on it. And uh, very interested in your thoughts on what you know so far about this update and how you think the game is progressing through its beta phase. And as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. I truly appreciate it. If you do like the video, if you like the content on the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let everybody know because uh, that really is the best way to help and support the channel. All right. There you go, everybody. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.